Hello, everybody. There's a Two Sides uh, podcast with Otto Wallint, one of the top heavyweight prospects. Hi, Otto. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. So far, so good. There's a news that uh, how about the situation with Usyk and Fury fight? And the European promoter uh, said that you are potential fire, like potential opponent for the Usyk. What do what do you what what do you know about that? What do you think about the situation? Uh, like, is it really is it possible? Well, I hope it's possible. I know that Dimitri, my promoter, has talked to his team about it, but <clears throat> I I haven't heard anything concrete about it. It's just talks. But I would love to fight Usyk. He's one of the world champions. So, I mean, that's really my dream to fight for the world championship. So, I would love to do that. But I don't know if there's any any real uh, talks right now. So do you think uh, uh, Usyk team don't interest in this fighting with you or? I don't know. I don't know. I think they. Have, I mean, everybody wants to fight the world champion, so he can really pick and choose the best fight for him. <clears throat> I think one thing that could be good for them, maybe they would think that okay, if I fight Otto, then we see how he does, um, how Usyk does against me, because. I fought Fury and gave him a really tough fight. So I guess that's type of a, like a measuring stick that they could use in a sense. But <clears throat> I think that's uh, really my pitch. But I think that, you know, like I said, he has a bunch of mandatories and stuff. So I'm sure they have, they are pretty tied up, I would think. No, they say they talking about the potential mm-hmm. fight with Dubois, but I think it's more uh, more honest if he want to fight with you because he did, he didn't fight with the Fury. You give the Fury tough fight, so <clears> he <throat> have to give you the chance. But if that fight happens, what do you think? What are your keys? How you can beat beat him up? How, uh, what, what is your plan uh, for that fight? How like what is the way? What, what, like you you can show him. I think that Usyk is a really good fighter, of course. He you know, I mean, he cleaned up the cruiserweight division and he's done really well at heavyweight with beating Joshua. But he didn't look that good with Chisora and this other guy, uh, Witherspoon. Uh, so I think that Usyk is really good, but he's not perfect. Nobody's perfect. So there's obviously things that I could take advantage of. And, you know, he's a smaller guy coming up to the heavyweight division. Uh, uh He's not he's not too small, but he's he's smaller. But I think that there's some things that I'm good at that I can use against him and uh exploit him. And I think that, you know, he had some tough fights at Cruiserweight with uh Gassiev and um the guy from Latvia, uh Brady's. So that would be fights that I would really look at. Yeah, there was a real pretty f- tough uh, fight with uh, Brady. So, uh, there's also potential fight is going to be against Dubois. Do you think Dubois really had a chance? Because I, I don't see any chance with Dubois against the Usyk. And I, I don't think who's going to interest in that fight. Yeah, I think that... I mean, he might get it because he's the mandatory uh, for one of the belts. But... I think that Dubois, he has a puncher's chance. He's a, he's a big puncher, so I think that's really how he can win the fight. He, I mean, he looked, um, didn't look great against Kevin Lorena that he fought last. He hurt his knee or something, but uh, he looked like he was kind of checked out in that fight. But then he came back and, and knocked Lorena out. So that was, a, I mean, good comeback in a sense. But I think that Usyk is just on a different level than Lorena. So. I think that would be a very difficult fight for Dubai. And I probably expect, I mean, Fury, no, Usyk to win for sure, but but uh, maybe stop him also. So would, I think you'd say, like, you just think the same, like, uh, Dubai chance only, like, like a lucky punch, which is hard to, like, catch him, right? Um, and look, back to that, like, like let's finish the situation about Usyk and uh, Fury. What do you think, what... What do you think happened there? I mean, is it Fury's uh, fault? Because you are a, bit, a little bit know him. Is it Fury's fault because this has happened? Or it's like, could be an uh, Usyk side that did something like? Well, it's hard to tell uh, 100% because I haven't, I, have, I don't know about the negotiations. But from judging from the outside, it seems like Fury was just messing around too much. He was giving Usyk 30%, which is 
too low, I think. I mean, uh, he has three belts. He's done really well. He's, uh, I mean, it would be a unification and uh, undisputed fight. So, I mean, I if I was them, I would say 50-50, but okay, maybe 60-40 because Usyk, you know, Fury might be a bigger draw. But I also think Usyk now after beating Joshua twice that he could be a big draw also and draw a lot of a lot of people in the UK and everywhere. So, I mean, it's an undisputed fight. So, I think it should be 50-50. And Usyk has three belts, I think. So, so well, then, then well, Usyk accepts. Then do you agree? Has... So, it looks like Fury doesn't want that fight. Because he, he, he like, uh, offers something like it's hard to accept. Then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he said 70-30. I'm guessing that he didn't expect Usyk to take that. And Usyk took it. And I got to give a lot of respect for Usyk to t- for taking that. And then I think they sounded like they said, okay, I take 70-30, but if I win and we have a rematch, then it's 70-30 to me, which is really, which is really fair. It makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. So then Fury comes up with something else and stuff. So to me, it seems like Usyk really wanted it. And I guess Fury didn't want it bad enough. Got it. Yeah, it seems like that. Uh, look, in this weekend, uh, we gonna watch a really interesting fight, like comeback, Joshua's comeback uh, against uh, German Franklin. I know you spar with the Franklin a lot, and uh, you also fought an amateur with Joshua. What do you think about this fight? Does, uh, does Franklin has any chances there? Has like Does he have hmm. something, or, or it's gonna be like... Uh, yeah, I think like... I, I think that Franklin, he's a pretty skillful fighter. I think he has good skills, you know. He was a pretty good amateur, I think. And uh, he fought Dylan White, gave him a really good fight. Maybe he could have won that fight. Uh, but I think that Franklin is going to come better, even better for this fight. Because I know that he was working shifts before and like 12 hours a day, so he couldn't train much. But then he fought Dylan White, and now he's had more training, I think, and less work. So I think he's going to be in better shape. Uh, and he, I think he's a skillful fighter, like I said. Uh, so I think that he's going to give Joshua some problems. But my guess is that Joshua is going to win a decision. Uh, but I, I can see Franklin giving Joshua some problems because I don't think Franklin is a bad fighter. Got it. Um, uh, do, uh, do you think it's going to be the whole distance fight, or Franklin going to lose, uh, like before? And uh, how he, how he, how 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 hard punches he has? Because like, does he has a lucky punch chance, or, or probably it's not going to happen? You mean Franklin? Yeah. Yeah, I think. I mean, it's it's a heavyweight boxing, so I think any fighter has the chance of knocking the other guy out. And uh, it's going to be interesting to see how Joshua comes because he has a new trainer again. And he seems like he's mentally, I don't know, he seems like he has some mental issues. He cares a lot about what people think about him and stuff. And uh, that seems hard. And I guess, frankly, he doesn't have any pressure, really. Uh, So... That's true, actually, yeah. That that could be a good point in, in the fight. Because, yeah, for Franklin, not, nothing to lose for Franklin, right? It's his last yeah. chance. <laughs> yeah, ex- uh, exactly. And, and it's, I mean, it's a lot of pressure on Joshua, always. People expect him to be really good and to knock people out because that's what he started with, knocking everybody out. But now it seems like he's got off of that a little bit. And, you know, I think he has some, he lost some confidence. Uh, along the way, probably maybe started with Ruiz when he got knocked out there. He's been more careful after. So we see he has a new trainer and see what he can bring out of him. But it takes a lot of time to to change uh, with a new trainer. And yeah, I wonder true. if yeah. they have enough time to do that. And if he can change really at this age. Well, yeah. So, but, but yeah, I think that Joshua is going to win that decision. Got it. Got it. All right. Uh, but what's happened, we're going to see this weekend. All right. Thank you so yeah. much for the, your commentary. It was really interesting to talk to with you. Okay. Ho- hopefully, we'll see you fight with Usyk, as your promoter said before. So, yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, thank you very much. So, thank you so much. All right. Bye bye. Have a good one.